The last app today then is one you've probably heard of before, and that is Fitbit. Now I must admit that I always thought Fitbit was simply a step tracker. I knew that it could pick up heart rate as well, and some friends had talked about sleep, but I hadn't really considered how it was really going to fit into the health world. The Fitbit watch actually also tracks activity levels per hour, flights of stairs climbed, it tracks your sleep, and it can also track your exercise and calories burnt throughout the day. What I like about it is by putting it in the form of a handy watch, it means it integrates elements of health tracking into your day to day. So monitoring activity and calories just becomes a routine part of your day, like checking the time. What's most useful though, is not so much what's in the watch, but what's on the app. Through the app, you're able to track calories by scanning the barcodes on the foods that you eat. You can you can track your water intake to make sure you're staying hydrated. If you're a woman, you can also track your periods and identify the most fertile spot in your cycle if you're trying to get pregnant. What I like most about the app though, is the discovery tab, which lets you choose guided programs to improve your health in general. Although some of these programs are hidden behind a premium subscription paywall, a lot of them are free. I signed up to one around cutting out my sugar or, or reducing my sugar intake. And it gave me some really valuable education that I think most patients would, would find really useful. And it also created goals within the main app that I had to tick through each day. Things like making sure I wasn't having sugary cereal for breakfast. There's also the opportunity to set yourself challenges like doing, uh, doing um, the number of steps that would make up certain famous hikes in the world or competing against friends. So when it comes to habit formation and creating healthier, healthier day-to-day -day habits, I think Fitbit could be an excellent option. The two downsides to it at the moment are the cost. This watch costs £110 and Fitbit watches can go up to £280. The other thing is for the guided programs to work and for the tracking to work, the patient has to be quite motivated. Although the heart rate, steps and sleep tracking is all automated, other things like calorie counting, uh, changes in weight, uh, being able to tick off exercise programs, that all requires someone regu regularly logging into the app and entering in their details. But I think if you do have a highly motivated patient who isn't put off by the cost and is looking to make sweeping changes to their fitness, to their nutrition and to their sleep and stress levels, Fitbit could be a great resource to recommend.